I'll try to keep this brief. Basically, I'm testing my 4-in-1 ESC to see if I've got a bad 4-in-1. Uh, so I don't know if you can see this very well, but here's my quad. I've switched out one motor already to see if it would work with a different motor. Because what happens is when I plug this in and into Betaflight and set it up to uh, go ahead and spin the motors, three of the motors spin, but this motor doesn't spin. It jerks and then it stops. So it jerks and then it stops and then so I put another motor on here and it did the same thing. So I went online and I learned how to troubleshoot this and I'm just gonna share this with you. So what you do is you take your multimeter and you flip it to continuity. And you'll know it's continuity because basically you're gonna go like this and you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. Let me put this closer. Hear that beep? So basically what you're gonna do, once you hear that beep and you know you're in continuity mode, so you're gonna to go to the hot side of your battery terminal where it plugs in right here next to the capacitor. So you're gonna put that right, let me see if I can. Turn this around so you can see what I see. So basically what happens is if I, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if it's red or black, you just, you touch one side to the positive side of the battery and you should be able to go on down the line and not hear anything. That means your MOSFETs are good. If I go over to the negative side, and again, it doesn't matter if I'm holding left, holding down on the positive or negative, that doesn't matter. It's, it's just continuity. So I go on down the line and Okay, did you hear that? Let me try that again. So I'm going on down the line. Oh, 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 there it is. And I went around and I've already done this. So I went around and I've checked all of the pads here. And the only three pads that I have continuity on is this one motor that's not running. So that tells me that my 4-in-1 ESC is fried. Now, that being said, there are people out there that can take a board like this, figure out which MOSFET is bad, and swap it out. Um, I don't have the equipment or the experience to do something like that. So in my world, that just means that I gotta buy another 4-in-1 ESC. But I wanted to show you how to do that, that way, if you're like me and you're two months into this sport and you don't know much about it and you're crashing all the time and you're pushing it and you're, you're really trying as hard as you can to, to get the most out of it, uh, you're gonna have these kinds of problems and you're gonna have to learn how to use a multimeter to, to troubleshoot these kinds of problems or you're just gonna have a bad go of it. You're gonna be replacing parts all the time and not being sure if the part you replaced is gonna work until after you replace the part. It's something I didn't think about in the last crash. I wish I had because now I gotta wait a couple days for a new ESC to come in. But if you crash and you're having problems or if you're just having problems with one motor not spinning, quick and easy way to figure out if it's your ESC is to take out your multimeter and check for continuity. If it's got continuity and it's all turned off, then you're in trouble, man. You just, you need to get a new one. All right.